the four zoas excerpt by william blake seventeen fifty seven to eighteen twenty seven read for librivox dot org what is the price of experience do men buy it for a song or wisdom for a dance in the street no it is bought with the price of all that a man hath his house his wife his children wisdom is sold in the desolate market where none come to buy and in the withered field where the farmer ploughs for bread in vain it is an easy thing to triumph in the summer's sun and in the vintage and to sing on the wagon loaded with corn it is an easy thing to talk of patience to the afflicted to speak the laws of prudence to the houseless wanderer to listen to the hungry raven's cry in wintry season when the red blood is filled with wine and with the marrow of lambs it is an easy thing to laugh at wrathful elements to hear the dog howl at the wintry door the ox in the slaughterhouse moan to see a god on every wind and a blessing on every blast to hear sounds of love in the thunderstorm that destroys our enemy's house to rejoice in the blight that covers his field and the sickness that cuts off his children while our olive and vine sing and laugh round our door and our children bring fruits and flowers then the groan and the dolor are quite forgotten and the slave grinding at the mill and the captive in chains and the poor in the prison and the soldier in the field when the shattered bone hath laid him groaning among the happier dead it is an easy thing to rejoice in the tents of prosperity thus could i sing and thus rejoice but it is not so with me compel the poor to live upon a crust of bread by soft mild arts smile when they frown frown when they smile and when a man looks pale with labor and abstinence say he looks healthy and happy and when his children sicken let them die there are enough born even too many and our earth will be overrun without these arts if you would make the poor live with temper with pomp give every crust of bread you give with gracious cunning magnify small gifts reduce the man to want a gift and then give with pomp say he smiles if you hear him sigh if pale say he is ruddy preach temperance say he is overgorged and drowns his wit in strong drink though you know that bread and water are all he can afford flatter his wife pity his children till we can reduce all to our will as spaniels are taught with art the sun has left his blackness and has found a fresher morning and the mild moon rejoices in the clear and cloudless night and man walks forth from midst of the fires the evil is all consumed his eyes behold the angelic spheres rising night and day the stars consumed like a lamp blown out and in their stead behold the expanding eyes of man behold the depths of wondrous worlds one earth one sea beneath nor erring globes wander but stars of fire rising up nightly from the ocean and one sun each morning like a newborn man issues with songs and joy calling the ploughman to his labor and the shepherd to his rest he walks upon the eternal mountains raising his heavenly voice conversing with the animal forms of wisdom night and day that risen from the sea of fire renewed walk o'er the earth for tharmas brought his flocks upon the hills and in the vales around the eternal man's bright tent the little children play among the woolly flocks the hammer of Earthona sounds in the deep caves beneath his limbs renewed his lions roar around the furnaces and in evening sport upon the plains they raise their faces from the earth conversing with the man how is it we have walked through fires and yet are not consumed how is it that all things are changed even as in ancient times end of poem this recording is in the public domain